stamp out the wine press. For sure. the wine press. They would forbid us in the name of God yes, sir. and yes. morality yes. <laughs> to partake of the fruit of the vine. Oh, yes. Be on your guard, my brothers and sisters, against such evil contrivers, contrivers. that sanctimonious teetotalers no, who disdain the wines of libation, for they would deny you any joy, no. any celebration as the sons that. and daughters of the Almighty. Hey. I am the vine, Woo. and you are the branches, <laughs> oh, <laughs> saith the Lord. <laughs> Pardoning your reverence, sir, but you are tank. <laughs> tank <in. laughs> they would lift Woo. up their noses. <laughs> In disgust, oh, no. disdain, no. condemnation no. at any, even the twelve apostles, no. for partaking no. of anything but the cup of blessing. Cup of blessing. Oh. And they, in their sniveling, hypocritical voices, they would deny that the saints in heaven are drunk, drunk. with joy. Drunk. They are inebriated. With the love of God. <laughs> and they revel forever in his high, holy, merry spirit. <laughs> so here's to the power and the kingdom and the promise and the glory. <laughs> Show us your clipping now. Oh, Give you us a look us at the clipping. clipping. How Harry, show us the clipping. Come on, this where is, is it? What she got? What we told you about this great oh, clipping. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that was That's sermon. not the sermon you just laid on us. <laughs> it's a reverend. No. Oh, what we just heard. <laughs> what we just heard is what got you canned from the church. <laughs> Come on, give it to us straight, Harry. <laughs> it wasn't the sermon, yeah. was it? Uh -oh. Come on, Harry. Oh, no, it was because you were plowed when you gave it. I would have loved to have seen their faces. A plowed preacher, three sheets to the wind. <laughs> Probably the most inspired that church has ever been. Yeah. Okay, everybody, collection time. Oh, Let's go. Man, we just donated last week. Now, a preacher is worthy of his hire, right, Harry? Now, come on, cough it up. All right, God you bless go, you, child. Thank God you. bless you. Oh, Blige, God bless you. Come on, oh, Howard, cough yes. up a buck, give it to the man. All right, Harry. Okay, everybody, <laughs> church is over. Time for bed. Again? Uh, bed, bed. Oh, I'm going to take you to a big party. Oh, a party. Yes, Come on, right there. <laughs> Reverend, 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 Reverend. <laughs> we'll be back in time to catch the late show, eh? Here's something to forget by. Huh? <laughs> you got no heart. None of you. Evie? She's not here, Harry. Evie? Where are you? Harry. Evie? She's dead. Too late. Are you all right? Man, you should be dead. What happened? The train run right over you and you just walk away? 
Harry, Harry, you okay? Where are you going? Harry! Did you see that? Mary has a little girl, little girl, little girl. Mary has a little girl. Her face is soft as snow. Oh, uh, the next train won't be bad at 2.13. You're waiting for someone? No. You got a light? No. Got one here somewhere. Did you see that just now? The train ran right over his drunken body. And not a scratch. Not a scratch. Oh, smoke? One thing about Harry. He's the only man I know who can drink a whole bar under the table. Comes down here every night. Drinks up enough booze to start a hurricane. Did you see that just now? He should be dead. Nobody like Harry. <laughs> he used to be a preacher. Mighty good one, too. Then his wife left him. Ran off with another fella. He started hitting the bar. You gonna stay down here all night? Uh, I don't know. Watch the glass. Uh, I'm sorry. I, it was, uh... Uh, what's your name? Joe. Joe, you've been sitting there for the last three hours all by yourself. You want to talk about it? Wouldn't do any good now. It's, it's just nothing that could do it now. Nothing. <clears throat> last week, this girl about your age got off the 145, went over there to that bench and sat down and bawled her eyes out for two hours. Why? Her boyfriend gave her the bye-bye baby number. Found out she was a virgin. Lord almighty, there ain't no peace for women in this here world. Except that maybe in subways. Subways? Underground. But we're gonna rise up out of these tunnels and catacombs. Gonna swarm like a legion of red and black ants out of the dirt and basement and subways and gonna unite all the sisters of the world. Harry spouted that gym two weeks ago. Had all the women folk getting off the 213, cheering their heads off. Gets lonely down here sometimes, though. Mighty lonely. You know what I'm talking about. I can tell. I can see it in you. One of the loneliest sights I ever saw was the 213 pulling in one night. The cars was all lit up and the train screeched to a stop. Not a soul in any of the cars. In 15 years, I never saw that happen. The train slowed down and to a stop, and the doors opened, and no one got out. No one. Millions of people in this here city, and one night, not a single one of them was on the 213.
You married, Joe? Yeah, I'm... I, I mean, I was married. Uh, I, it's, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> talk about it? Well, Sunday, uh, Mary, Christy, and me, we went on this picnic, you know, and, uh, well, we don't get out very much. Christy's only two, and so we're sitting underneath these pine trees on this quilt that Mary had made just uh, before we got before we got married, and uh, and she knows I'm crazy about cold chicken and potato salad. You know, Christy's teeth are just starting to come in, and so so Christy was running around with this piece of bread, you know, and she wanted me to eat some of it, and so she'd tear off a piece and she'd give it to me, and then I'd take it and then I'd eat it, and and then she'd laugh, and and then she she'd run around the edge of the quilt again, and. Uh, and she'd do the same thing, and we'd laugh, and she'd say, Daddy, Daddy. Yeah. Uh, we, we've, been, we've been very happy. <laughs> I was afraid to get married, you know? I mean, I was afraid to tell anybody I love you too soon, because then maybe later I'd, I'd figure out I was wrong or something. So, so Mary is holding Christy on the, on the quilt, and, uh, and she's pointing up to where the light is dancing through the pine trees and she's and she's telling Christy to look up there and she's saying light see light Mary has a little girl little girl little girl Mary has a little girl her face is soft as snow So we're driving home on the freeway, see, and uh, Mary's holding Christy in her arms, and, and uh, she's singing a, a song to her, you know? And, uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, there's, uh, there's this car swerving out of control in front of us, and, uh, and he's, he's stopping. He's trying to avoid this car that, that whose tire blew out in front of him, right? Joe! So, so I slammed on my brakes, and I could have stopped in time, but this guy to the right of us, I mean, he's going too fast, right? And he can't stop. And, uh, and he panics or something, and he swerves right into the passenger side of the... So they're dead now, Mary and Christy. They're, they're dead, right? And I'm alive. <laughs> they're dead, and I'm alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. God. So, okay. Uh, so they had the the funeral was this morning, and Christie's casket was so small. <laughs> so I uh, so I went out to the cemetery this afternoon. And everything was all tidied up already. I mean, they planted new grass on it on tops of the graves and looked, uh, it looked like they'd been dead forever, you know? Sometimes the Lord's ways are not ours. Harry! Don't you talk to me about God. If there was a God, he wouldn't have taken my wife and my child from me. Well, it's hard to accept sometimes, but, but God, God, God is not cruel. Well, why then? I, I, I don't know. Living, it's a mystery. So is dying. But I can tell you this. If, if anybody deserved to live, Jesus did. I mean, I, I, and they, you know, he died when he was about your age. Yeah, well, if he was God, he could have prevented it. But he didn't. What? 
difference does it make anyway? Oh, that makes all the difference. See, because of him, Mary and Christy are, are, are with God now. <laughs> well, I don't want them with God. I want it with me, you see? I mean, I should have a right to say what happens to my wife and my child. Yeah, about loving them, yeah. But not about when they're going to die. Harry, you're a drunk who just tried to kill himself, and you're speaking for God? It's a, this is... A... I mean, I, could, I couldn't uh, even cry at the funeral. You know, I, I couldn't feel anything. Joe, don't, don't make my mistake. What? Or what mistake? Closing off, refusing to love. How can I? How can I love my wife and my child? They're dead, see? Well, I don't, I don't know, but... I know this now. If, if you stop loving them, if you close yourself off from loving anyone, you're going to be more dead than they are. Five years ago, my wife left me. For 20 years of marriage, she said to me, you don't need me anymore, Harry. You don't need anyone. You don't even need God. I'm leaving you, and I'm leaving you because I'm in love with a man who's not too busy to love me. And she, she went out the door, and I, I never saw her again. <sighs> then I started hitting the bottle. I lost my church. I lost everything even lost God. Just before Evie died, she wanted to, to see me, uh, to, to talk to me. Uh, but I was out on a binge somewhere, and uh, by the time I got the message, uh, she had died. Do you, uh, do you believe in life after death? Uh, I don't know. I did. I did. Most of my life. And then, when, when Evie left me for well, that man, my love turned into hate. I didn't hate her. I, I, I couldn't ever hate her. But I, I stopped loving her. And I began to, I, I hated myself because because I couldn't be the kind of person, I couldn't be everything that she needed me to be. And, and, and then when she died, I hated God. I hated him. I hated him because he made adultery a sin, because I knew that he was judging her, and I knew that she was burning in hell. I have come to call sinners, not the just. You said that once. See, I was trapped. I was trapped between loving her and condemning her. And then, then I lost God, too. See, we were friends. We were very, we were close. I talked to him. And when he rejected me, I was alone. We're all alone, Harry. And we all got our troubles. <laughs> Well, Reverend Harry, you're still here. Sally, I have seen this man down an entire court in one swell. It's true. It's absolutely true. Okay, everybody, sermon time. It's time for church. Come on, leave him alone. Come on, Harry. Just a few words for Harry. Come on, just a little bit. Now, I don't want anyone to stop drinking during this man's word because we have to, yeah, right? we have, to have a little respect for our parson here, right, Harry? Yeah. The best drinker in the entire subway. Let's hear it for Harry. Hey, you know. I'm sorry we're late, Reverend, but we had a few yeah. corporal works of mercy of our own to attend to, you see. My friend Sally here was a prisoner until I set her free. Oh, good Lord. Did I set her free? 
All right, Harold, we're here. Okay, Harry. Your best right, fans. Right. Carrie, are you ready? Yeah, we're on. ready, uh, baby. I, I, I don't have anything to say. Oh, oh Harry. 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 I mean, is the sky up, Harry? Is water wet? Yeah. Is the Pope Catholic? What's the story? Let's have a look. What does he got? Howard, they're white. Quickly. Oh the medicine. Yes, the medicine. Yes, indeed. Have a look, Harry. I don't, I don't want any. He already told me to he's not in the mood, right? Hey, wait, what, what kind of game are you playing here, Harry, huh? Oh, it's not a game. Have a, have a it's not a game. Yeah. This is yeah. preacher, no performance, no pay, preacher. Oh, Bravo. 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 Harry, one little taste no, for me. Just for me. Have a little. Well, leave him alone. Who's this? Who's this? Who's a friend? Oh, what's your name, handsome? <laughs> yeah, well, watch it, friend. You're not, it's not your church here. This is the church, and this is the steeple. <laughs> Open the doors and see all the people. <laughs> um, Jesus' little sunbeam. <laughs> Um, Jesus, <laughs> little son, bean. Were, baby, were. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Harry, you were falling apart, guy. Come on, we need a little jolt of Jesus, huh? Get us back on the straight and narrow. I told, I told you before. Listen, stranger, you cough alone. up for collection, okay, okay, come and on, you come, can open on, your come mouth. Come Until then, come you... on. Okay, Vince, I'll, 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 I'll say something. All it's... right, friends. Our friend here is going to lay a few pearls of wisdom on us. Sure. Okay. Let's hear it. Book says, don't cast your pearls before swine. <laughs> No, you you might not like it. Oh, oh Harry, we're your like greatest it. fans. Like you. I'll carry on. Listen, Harry. Wait, uh, ever since you left, there there has been something stirring inside of me. I'll say thirst, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we got the no, thing for you. You you remember what you said? The last thing you said just before you left. Oh, I, <laughs> sure, I said uh, service is over, folks. It's time for bed. No, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, it was after that. You know, is this Harry Sunday school? Well, remember, you, you, you gave me the money and you said something to forget by. Did I say that? No, you I did, did not, not say, say that. that. Sure did. Something to forget Evie by. Well, after you left, I, 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 I tried to kill myself. Yeah. Uh, well, Harry, you wouldn't do that to us. Well, I mean, not your own drink. I, I, I got down on the tracks. I wondered what it would be like for the train to splatter my body all over the subway. And just as the train was about to hit me, I, I, it was as though I were, were pushed. I fell face down on the track and, and the cars rumbled over me. And I, uh, I, the noise was deafening and I thought that my body was being crushed. But then, then I heard a voice that was louder than any other sound. Harry! Harry! That, that was Evie's voice. Great, it's gonna be a ghost story, gang. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. She was saying my name. That, 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 that's all she said, was just my name. But, but ever, ever since then, I, and I, I don't know why, but I want, I want to love again. Now you're talking, Harry, oh, huh? Stop it. I heard Ebby's voice. I I feel this there's something happening inside of me. I I feel I feel like I did years ago when I when I still loved God. I Death is swallowed up in victory. Death Where where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Death, it surrounds us. It's inside of us. Harry, what are you trying to scare my friend? Here? What is the sting of death? What is death's victory? It's when we allow grief and suffering to make us stop loving. There is the death of the body, and then there is the death of the heart. Now, we will, we will all experience the death of the body, but God, God have mercy on us if we experience the death of the heart. Because when that comes, if it does come, 
Only God himself can save us from utter ruin. When my wife left me, that's the kind of death that took over me. It seduced me into thinking that she was gone forever. Evie, I stopped loving you. It was the pain. I couldn't stand the pain of not, of not being with you, of thinking that you were gone forever. Evie, Evie, forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me for judging you. I know now that God's love is greater than any sin. I know in my heart, Evie, that you live. And I know that in love, all tears and all pain will be washed away. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. It's no party, it's a, it's a funeral. Hey, Sally. Okay, come on. Yo, Howard, let's... Now, Vince. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> 